You are watching Mamu TV. Well, welcome to day nine. Here this is Marxism. Marxism. Therefore, tell yourself, I'm going to do something today. But before that, I'm going to spend a couple minutes just, you know, playing around with my, my van a little bit. And before you know it, three hours pass you playing with the stapling and you find yourself getting a, a good test of the bad weather capabilities. Yeah, well that was going on. <laughs> Let me tell you, I had some plants I wanted to plant today. And I say, well, I said that would have been the video. You know what I mean? Hold on. Uh, yeah, I said that would have been the video. But I had this thing set up since last night. So I come outside. And I said, I'm going to play around with it a little bit and work on the, the little lines for it and them kind of thing now. The toggles, clips, because I had it clipped up with these things. Which is, you know, quick and dirty, but it's not a perfect solution. If I could be tapping with this and the breeze constantly thing in, this corner here is going to dig in and burst through it pretty quick. So I come outside to make up my little rope and loops and whatever and whatever. I'm going to show you how I have it here. This still has not been a fast thing because the rain come down. I have just set a carabiner up there and just a loop just a loop on that and well this side will stick down and I ain't, I ain't totally figured it out yet so yeah it is day 9 I ended up spending a couple of hours just playing with this this on end yeah I was just I was it was just a thought because of how we get catch by the beach last time in the bar right? I would have liked to have something like this set up you know what I mean? Maybe not this this thing because you know I gotta go and try it out. Maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, yeah, we could do that tomorrow. We could go and make a day down flower pot, we like to just set up we on in and play around with it a little bit. Yeah, that could be tomorrow. Today I don't think I'll go and do much or anything again. I can't go and see what my plants in this weather. I'm definitely not gonna dig no dirt on a few the plant then. So tomorrow for that too. Maybe in the morning. Yeah, so, but actually this, this actually working out pretty good. See, the rain pouring. And I actually have a outdoor, I could keep my door open. And I could be right here and, I, and everything okay. <laughs> but I see, you know, under the shed here. Out in the wild could be something else, like with the shoot test could be. But it's better to have something than nothing. Worst case scenario, I know back like last time where I just had all the doors locked, all the doors closed in. And we are just inside here. Yeah. This could work, this is just a simple, I think, um, 8x6 cheap blue tarpaulin I had laying around. So I said, I'm gonna try a thing and try a thing. I had to move the rough rock forward a little bit. But I wanted it to actually cover this opening so it extends a little bit. Yeah, so I moved the rough rock forward. I had to make over the mounts, so actually, do a thing on this. Eh? <laughs> I had to make over the mounts, these mounts. Because these original mounts that I was using were too thick and the door couldn't open. So I had to use, I had to, oh, I had to remake them thing. And all them thing was just supposed to be secondary. And the video for today was supposed to be the plant sanding. But you know, best laid plants are my son, man. But then how it is here. This is, this is a nice little relaxing setup though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> it's not too bad. I'll be sound of the waterfall in there from my wonky piece of guttering that I need to fix for the longest while. Now, this thing here collecting rainwater, flowing it into that IBC tank. I just use that for yard work, that's not drinking water. But you know, you can't really use the drinking water to wash down can, wash down yard, and this kind of thing. Gotta conserve where you could and you know you have to do what you could do. So I collect my rainwater. Right now my cup run it over. Collect my rainwater and I use that for the plants and them kind of thing. Yeah. So you see, let's just breeze out. You can breeze out here. So what do you think? Now enough for day nine. Me playing around with my one end. Yeah, see how I have it on this line here? Obviously it's not gonna be like it's not gonna be like that when I out 
forever and up. You know what I mean? So I don't know if I could just take it straight down and get a couple sticks. I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. The truth has to be the truth has to be when we're outside there. I mean not even I mean I'm I don't even matter keep this door fully open. I could just keep it cracked like that and I have more than enough ventilation and thing, I believe. I just saw something, I just saw something. Chances are when if rain comes down heavy, I go already be inside the van, I'm not coming out to set this up. It's gotta be set up before, like if I have a little warning that you know bad weather coming in, sky turning black, I could come out, set up my thing and I'm comfortable. Well, more comfortable than I would have been. <laughs> I'm pretty comfortable, I ain't gonna lie. This van is be a nice little a nice little comfortable setup for overnight. I ain't gonna lie. I will appreciate it. Considering my next setup is bicycle and motorcycle, this is a whole new level of comfort. You know, normally I used like even packing the van. I used to um think like the kitchen and whatever and whatever. Because in my mind, I'm still thinking like, you know, how to fit it in this tiny bag. Everything had to be in this one thing and there's all my, all my supplies, everything for the night, tapu, and hammock, forever, forever, forever. But the van, I have a more space. And with that comes a lot more comfort. Don't get me wrong, I still like my bicycle and my motorcycle. But for this type of weather, I would much prefer my van. Anyway, this has been day nine. I hope I'll enjoy the thing. I hope I'll check my back tomorrow. We can see what goes on tomorrow. Yeah, let me tell all you. I could, I could probably tell all you about tomorrow from today. Because I actually have an idea. Tomorrow, the power is supposed to cut for the entire day. So I wouldn't have any electricity here. Yeah. So I say I may as well pack up the van and we can go down by the upper beach. And we can breeze out and relax today. We can try out the on and thing and thing. What do you say? I still have to figure out what I'm cooking. I don't think I want ramen. At this one hot, I want a ramen. I want a soup. I call what I say. <laughs> anyway, anyway, tomorrow for tomorrow, this has been today. I hope I'll enjoy it. Enjoy anything. I hope I'll enjoy me tomorrow. So then I'll keep good. Now let's stay blessed. Okay, man, out for the hour. Let's have folks. Simple things and new simple minds. It's not a roll up much string and thing. Now like a cat, you know. I sit on playing with string. <laughs> oh. You're not going to be in the rain enough.